to the to the spot when we when we do our business there. I get the spot like yo, hey, um, I'm gonna be out. So I was like, yo, we got a run up, we got a a run up we gotta do. I said, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing no run. I got this little this little chick. I'm gonna make she nasty. <laughs> Yeah, how I don't never want this to be misconstrued. But when you have a light on you, it's going to be known. Because nobody truly know my story for real. Because I don't think people can handle it. There's a lot of people that say I come from this, I come from that. No, baby. Mm -mm. What you're looking at is a product of living and learning and observing to me, I'm the pinnacle of that. I'm just speaking facts because a homie of mine and his family got shot up in his own house. Another one got paralyzed, got shot by a cop. Cousins, family members, friends doing hella bids in prison for whatever they do. And they all coming back home. And I'm proud of that. They need to stay out. And they need to be free. Because we ain't getting no younger. I ain't got kids, but I know they do. Come on now. This is not no joke. Because me growing up, I could have been down the same path. I could have been a teen mom. I could have been this. I could have been that. could have been running with them. Not all of it escaped me. But I'm going to tell you right now. Them people... They must have seen a light on me. They must have seen my name or something that carries a light, that carries weight. Because they protected me from that. Because where I'm from, you don't get out, bruh. You don't get out. And I'm just speaking like this. Because y'all know I like to be in my feminine situation. But sometimes I gotta just speak the real and let you know something. Y'all don't know where my background is. Y'all don't know. All my people, like I said, is coming back home now. That I'm doing the bids. This is not a game to me. Growth is not a game to me. Learning, observing, and making the things that I could have been in. That's not, y'all don't see that as a blessing. If you going through the same thing or you feeling lately like that, something protected you from all that, you already know. I ain't got to say that. But just know that if you are a person and you got out of that, you literally got out of your birthplace because you were protected and it's a place where you know that thousands of people will never see let alone the next state over because all they know is they hood. Think about that. If you're the person that was able to get out, make them proud. Period. Goodbye. Welcome to the channel. Come in, come on. I'm here chilling by the water currently probably gonna do some reading just chill out because I couldn't for some reason I couldn't do my bible study in the house today I got new neighbors they be stomping all types of ways upstairs and if y'all have upstairs neighbors y'all know what I'm talking about it's just like consideration now i don't know why i remember this random fact but apparently when you take a step you're putting a thousand pounds of pressure onto the ground like you i don't know if it's the force or whatever but apparently it's a thousand pounds i don't remember if that's true or not i just remember that reading that as a fact anyway the more you learn um I just need like a getaway <laughs> to 
to be honest because a lot of stuff spiritually has been happening and I don't know how to feel about it because there's one thing to realize what's happening and it's another to face it head on so I'm just at that kind of space right now and thoroughly understanding what's happening uh, there's things even like in the weather that's going on because these wildfires I tell you the haze just kind of lifted where I was like the air quality index <laughs> warnings days upon days upon days I couldn't even feel like I could walk without like feeling like I was finna suffocate now mind you I'm thankful that I'm in the area that I'm in because in other places right now ridiculous so I'm completely thankful that it hasn't been as bad as I know that it is in other places never get that twisted so it's that so what's going on spiritually it's a lot so I really I need to get away pretty soon hopefully within the next day soon For this video in particular I hope you enjoy sit back relax and per usual just vibe with me and we'll see where it goes seen like the snippet video I usually like to post on Wednesdays as well it's just me doing a short little explanation of something or if I feel like I'm in a goofy mood you know just a short video for the week but this week's The one that's in this video because I know some people just follow my Instagram. I know some people just watch my YouTube. So I'm just cross-referencing because I want people to, you know, know that I have a voice and I have a light on me. That snippet, it still reigns true currently because I made it a couple days ago. But it really reigns true now because... I know that people utilize their story, well, more so not than what I'm about to say, but some people use their story for motivation to let people know that they can get through their turmoil and tribulations, their spiritual warfare, what they're going through, that they're not telling anybody. It's another premise of this channel when it comes to the self-care part of my brand I don't know if people are expecting to have me you know just showcase my signature line every single video but to me I only have the certain sense that I have right now and I want to stick to that so I don't want to bore people with just candle content because as of now, I can't make them full time, so I'm not rotating and constantly getting inventory and so on. I'm not at that point yet. Just being honest, I can't make content if I'm not doing it 
almost on a daily basis. So this is where the conversation comes in with me. This is where the self-care, because I already said that I was going to continue to have this, I consider it like a visual diary because my background, you know, in the mental health field, I think that is important to talk things out to somebody or some type of outlet that helps you. I'm not ready fully unless I probably write it in a book. I truly don't know yet because I just don't want people to read my words, the ones that I love. I don't want them to read it and feel away because of the certain feelings that I was feeling at the time during a certain age, during this season, during, you know, even though I'm not in that place anymore, I still need to be able to explain it get it off my chest because the stuff and I'm going to have to go through more things so at this point in my life it's like people would think I'm <laughs> just how did I go through the amount that I went through and still be able to put a smile on my face or laugh or be charismatic how can I do that when all it don't want to say all but certain seasons of my life were so dark I was lost I didn't know what was going on of course people haven't seen that now because even myself I didn't want people to see me go through that I was the homie that had a bright outlook on life and then nothing was wrong with me I was that friend I was that family member I was I'm that person do you, you have to be resilient you have to be the rock you have to do this you have to do that the expectations of always trying to figure out always trying to be level-headed and I tell you know my loved ones it's just like sure I can remain calm but at a certain point it's just like what is my threshold because I'm gonna tell you now the way this spiritual warfare has been getting set up it I don't even have words for it because the nerve of the enemy to be able to try someone like myself. He does not get no type of energy from nothing over here at all. Now don't get me wrong, human side of me, it's just like, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Why do I have to keep enduring it? Like, you know, I'm never going to ask God why. I'm just saying in a general sense to make it make sense. That's what I feel. I'm not going to ask that true question. That's just how I feel. And it's like, what is the lesson that I need to learn with this? Because... the intellectual maturity that people in the spirit have to have because you have to watch yourself to react and not to react to certain things you have to look at what is being pushed upon you and so like there's so many examples that I could say but again when it comes to my life I will explain it possibly bit by bit just to get stuff off my chest it's, get it off of me it's either going to be through words and you'll usually see it on a post of mine or a book of mine or I may verbally say it on here because it needs to be said because there's a lot of people that do not speak on certain things and I have always been a person I know at least one person is going to be impacted 
I know at least one person is going to be impacted, so I got to say it. I'm not the only person that has a certain plight that walks a certain way, that has a certain grace about herself, that has a certain understanding about things. I'm not the only person with that capability. And I'm not going to be the last. I'm just saying. People need to start really realizing who has the walk the walk and talk the talk mentality I'm at a point now where I have done it for so long it's an annoyance to me when people around me don't do that it's a to me it's kind of disrespectful because I have put forth all of this type of stuff to help to make somebody get out of their comfort zone And when simple tasks that I know can be done just aren't being done, how do you, first off, how? I'm not saying everybody needs to be exactly on how I operate mentally, none of that. Or even with my work ethic, no, none of that. What I'm saying is, if you care for me, if you ride for me, if you there for me, if this, that, and third for me, and a lot of people not, call it spade a spade, I'm not the only one that's going through this. I'm not the only person that knowing that they are trying to grind so hard and it's, I'm, I don't even want to say it's only at the top because I'm definitely not at the top. I'm nowhere near that. I'm just saying that it can be very frustrating when you know your characteristics, your capabilities, what all of this. And this is why I think self care and talking about this stuff is in real time is important. I want people to realize. When it comes to your products, when it comes to your routine, when it comes to your quirks, when it comes to your downfalls, when it comes to your faults, your uprising, your successes, your good positive moments, please be as balanced as you can with that. Because other people, I'm turning it back to my last point, that other people that aren't there for you, but they're around, that's when you can tap into yourself. And that's why I always talk about the concept of self and self-reflection. It needs to happen. And it needs to be a constant thing people go through and learn about themselves, especially the more they age, right? Nobody got time to not have people in their corner that care about them truly. Mind you, I never minded cutting people off. It hurt, but I never mind doing it. But I'm sick of doing it. Because why are people people? <laughs> why are people set up the way they are? Mind you, I'm not complaining. I'm trying to motivate. I'm trying to let people know that if you feel that way or have felt that way, you are completely valid in your feelings. I'm speaking in it in a way when it comes to the spiritual warfare of things because the enemy likes to use people to try and mess with you try to use avenues that you know that you're passionate about they try to it, the enemy tries to sneak in tries to do all this convoluted stuff trying to make it full circle when it comes to your sense of self 
that's how you can combat the enemy. That's how you can remain centered because if you have foundational points about yourself and the scriptures, that's just my opinion on stuff, that it's all good, it's for your betterment. So I'm here to say during this time I don't know how to put this. I want people to know they are not alone in their drawbacks they're probably for a good reason and God given that he is the ultimate father figure it may be him at times doing things that you don't like don't give the enemy too much credit Don't do that because I'm going to back this up with a scripture. It's right here. Okay? This scripture, you're going to be like, wow. It really do. It really do say that. Like, why am I fearing something that is so fragile and measly? The enemy is fragile, honey. Don't give that man or entity whatever don't give it power because as I said God as the fatherly figure he will punish you he will let you know no this ain't cool go back to the drawing board this ain't it bruh that's what that's what it is again I'm calling a spade a spade because the importance of self care for me is during the times that I feel like spiritual warfare has amping up a little bit because you gotta stay calm and stuff. You gotta be diligent in understanding what is being done or what is being said or what is being perpetrated. All that. You gotta understand that in a different way, not just in a worldly sense. Because it's not just people flying off the handle. Do you know why these people are flying off the handle? Do you truly know why these people talking out the side of their neck, doing the most obscenely things? Like, you you think people are weird now? The situations and the things that I have seen, you'll be like, yo, what? But again, I just want this to be blatantly clear. Your path that you walk on is yours. You can either consider it a blessing along the way and realize it is not a race it is a marathon in this thing we call life or you can take it talking about woe is me you can take it and crumble and cave and do all that but I, I'm telling you now You were given certain things to be able to beat them. You were given certain tasks to complete them. You were given certain lifestyle to be able to either have it become better for yourself or be content with it. Now, mind you, I know a lot of people that don't even see what's in front of them as a buzzer and they take it for granted every day. Because I don't know if people seen this. I don't know if it's a cartoon or a meme or something. But it's like, okay, someone's walking. 
and the person wishes that they were on the bicycle. The person on the bicycle wishes that they saw the person on the bus. The person on the bus wishes that they were in a car. It's just like people are never content with their current season and what they're going through, ever. People need to understand and ground themselves and have a concept of self for themselves to understand that they need to be a steward in their current situation. And I said this videos prior, I need to be a good steward with what I got now. I need to be able to understand when God wants me to level up because if the mental is already there in several ways. I just need to figure it out to turn it into the physical because here I'm somewhere. I'm on a yacht somewhere. I'm on a boat dinner. I'm on a, <laughs> what should we call it? I'm on a beach somewhere. I'm at a, a hotel in a hot tub somewhere. Like, mind you, my things of luxury that I strive for. I had to have a very tough conversation with myself because life be life and, and I knew that those things were once attainable. Now it's not so much attainable, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just an ebb and flow type of thing. So it's just like, you need to realize where you just came out of. When I tell you, the season that I just came out of, it was about four years in duration. The most chaotic time in my life. I've never faced anything like that before. So I'm even honing in on every type of self-care, um, positive coping mechanism that I can to be able to be like, okay. I'll be okay. What what's the next steps? Cuz we don't got time to downplay what you went through. We ain't got time to be able to be like, "No, you you deserve this, you deserve that." Whichever the case may be, if it was deserving, it was to teach you a positive outcome lesson. If the coincidences and the cards fell where they fell and it let it be, let it be. <laughs> and I really hope this is sticking to somebody because I know a lot of people just wanna want the fluff. And I've never been the fluffy content creator. I've never been the, you know, That's not that it's not that space here I enjoy having the calm moments I love having the fun moments I love but I need to have the motivational moments those are the ones that stick hardest to me when I sit down and I chat with y'all because I want y'all to understand that just learning through me or watching me know that <laughs> your girl Could have been cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Could have been admitted 505. Do you feel me? I could have been that a few years back. I could have been berserk. People leaving me. People not being there when I was sick. Sick. People that I thought were in a bond with me did not care. I was almost, you know, they did not care. Instead, they, <laughs> they did a whole bunch of nothing. And I couldn't take it any more. So I said, I had to look myself in the mirror yet again. 
Because one thing about me, I'm going to do some mirror work. I'm going to look myself in the face and be like, you are not supposed to be dealing with, you are supposed to be able to do this. You're supposed to be just all it is. Because at the end of the day, who left, left. Who did me wrong, did me wrong. Who stood by me, stood by me. And that's why I want people to understand with this community that I'm growing to, stand by me because I am definitely rooting for y'all. It's definitely going to be like, okay, you can even ask other content creators that I follow or comment on. It's going to be positive. It's going to, I'm going to cheer you on and I do not care because people have not for me. And that's what I want because I want it reciprocated. So I'm just telling people and I want people to know this is again motivation. I want people to know that they can do it. I want people to know that you don't need to give a whole crap about who this saying what, who left who, what did what, why are we here, what's doing let it rot let it rot because in this year I promised myself I was reclaiming all my time because I feel like too much time was lost on stuff that didn't even matter so <laughs> don't call it a comeback don't call it a comeback because I'm here and I've been here and this is where I'm going to stay okay published author I'm going to drill it because I'm a, I don't like using that M word I'm going to make things come through fruition through you already know who I was going to say through him Period. Two brands. You will see it. Two brands. My journal, my first book. Working on finalizing my second book and writing my third. All odds. Every single odd was against me. And I have you guys watching every week or catching up. Because y'all know what I'm saying is facts. Or you know somebody that's going through the same things that I either went through or am going through. You already know somebody. I'm just making it as relatable as I can. Years of education later. I'm just saying whatever you put your mind to, it is possible. And I had to realize and give myself grace too because with my education, with my book, with my uh, previous jobs that I had, it took me years, years to be able to say I had a foot in the door somewhere. Now I feel like I'm restarting. It's not the funnest thing. It's just not. But I also have to have the understanding that you set out to do something. So you got to be consistent and you got to be disciplined in it and you got to do it. Just do it. But I hope this chit chat helps somebody. I pray that it impacts somebody. I pray that the shackles that someone may feel right now, that they are released now or very soon in their future. 
I pray that whatever is going on internally, even externally, because people with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and so forth, they have a certain way about themselves and certain things that they may feel need to be sorted out. I pray that it is sorted out. I pray that it is fixed. I pray that you become healed more than you were yesterday. I pray that you are loved. I pray that you are one day understood. I pray that one day you are listened to. I pray that what you set out to do is beyond. I hope God blows your mind. I hope he makes it so that you never even expected in the most best way I can even say. I hope he blows your mind out the water. That is what I want my people in my community to understand. That's what I hope for my people. Period. Because I know I want that for myself. And I also want people that know that I that rock with me. Is there with me. But. I just wanted to say that. Before I started concentrating on my reading. And enjoying the rest of the day. I'm not sure if this will continue. Because I've been talking for 30 minutes. This may be just a chit chat video and if so I will see you in the next video but if not more sequence to come so what in the TikTok is happening oh, what? they got whole routines and everything is some type of certain gown. It's not for a quince. I don't be following none, so I don't. I'll I'll remember what the dresses are in a minute, and I'll I'll put it somewhere so that way you guys can look it up. But matter of fact, here's a photo. doing laundry so I'm going to wrap up this vlog for this week and until next time take care